The first thing I do is section my hair in half and wet my hair until it is fully saturated. This typically takes about 3-5 to five minutes where I literally just lean my head underneath the shower and just let the water do its thing. Then I'll split one of those sections again for a total of 3 sections, one taking up half of my hair and the other taking up 2 quarters. Now one thing that I've started doing is shampooing and conditioning section by section instead of shampooing all of my hair first. This is because I find shampooing my hair first leaves it feeling dry, brittle and overall like a dry spaghetti noodle. I'll take a generous amount of shampoo and apply it to the bottom section making sure to pay attention to my scalp don't skip this step bro i'm not about to have you walking around with a dirty scalp okay it's bad for business today i'm using the too clean shampoo from 4c only and i absolutely love this product because it almost doubles as a detangling conditioner it's super moisturizing and even though it's a shampoo i'm able to get a head start on detangling because of how much slip it has After I feel like the section is thoroughly clean, I'll rinse out the shampoo and go in with my deep conditioner. We're not wasting any time by using a rinse out conditioner. And if you don't know the difference between the two, I have a five part series that goes over what hair products you absolutely need in your hair journey. I even offer an 18 page PDF that shows you what products to use for low porosity hair versus high porosity hair. All of that is available in my online course, Escaping the Awkward Stage. So if you want access to that exclusive content, click the link down below in the description. Today I'm using the 4C only too thick deep conditioner and to be honest it is it's I right. not every product got to be the MVP okay I'll continue to finger detangle my hair until I'm confident that my hands can pass through my hair freely then I'll move on to a wide tooth comb and finally a pick and I know what you're thinking Tarek you told us that using a pick is bad for our hair I know I know chill let me explain myself it's all in the technique what I'll do is I'll flip the pick upside down and use it almost as an extension of myself yes we get philosophical don't judge me just make sure that you're being gentle with your hair throughout this entire process the last thing that you want to do is mindlessly comb through your hair and cause a lot of breakage. Always start detangling from the ends of your hair while working your way up to the roots. After that, I'll twist up the section and use a hair clip to pin it in place before I start the top section. A lot of people like to use two strand twists, but I find that using a simple hair clip is so much faster because you can quickly twist up your hair without having to worry about whether the two strands are even. I pretty much rinse and repeat this tactic throughout my entire hair. Get it? Rin rinse and repeat. <laughs> uh, moving on. And if you must know, this process alone typically takes about an hour. I know, I know, bro. You got stuff to do. I got stuff to do. I wish it was faster, but you know what they say. It's life. But on a real note, you don't want to rush through this process because it's only going to stress you out and lead to more breakage. Do yourself a favor, play some music, put on a podcast, and watch the time fly by. The last thing that I do in the shower is unravel each big twist and add my leave-in conditioner. You want to make sure that your hair is fully saturated with water before adding in your leave-in. And today I'm using the moisturizing leave-in conditioner from Caracare, but you can easily swap this out for something like Shea Moisture. Now we're going to start styling, and if you detangle properly, I promise this process is going to go by so quickly. I'm only using one styling product, which is the Eco Styler Argan Oil Gel. If you have type 4 hair like me, you want to use a gel that has maximum hold. This will not only define your curls, but it's going to keep them clumped together for well over a week. So I'm going to start from the back and work my way up to the front. I unravel the twist and take a small subsection of hair and pin the excess away with a hair clip. I'll use a spray bottle to re-wet that section and I'll go through it one more time with my wide tooth comb and detangler brush just to make sure that I got rid of any tangles that I missed. Then I take a generous amount of gel and apply it to the section. Now I'm going to share with you a trick that literally revolutionized my curls, okay? Grab a pen of paper because this is going to get hella complicated, alright? Use more gel. That's it. Trust me, you don't want to be cheap or light-handed, otherwise your curls are not going to come out as defined as you'd like. I like to alternate between smoothing and raking the product through my hair. I don't like to use the shingling method because I feel like it just leads to more shrinkage and we don't mess with shrinkage around here. After that, I'll just take another subsection and repeat the process of detangling and adding gel.
Nothing else really changes from this point, I'm just repeating the same stuff, but I'll show you one more time just so you fully understand. Take a subsection and pin the rest of the hair up with a hair clip. Spray your section with water to re-wet it and pass through with your comb or detangler brush one last time to get rid of any tangles. Then apply a generous amount of gel and smooth or rake the product through your hair. And the last step, don't forget to snap your fingers to auto-complete your hair. It, it, it's just easier that way. Now at this point, you could let your hair air dry, which will probably take between six to seven years, or you could be like me and use a blow dryer to diffuse your hair. I like to use the medium heat, low fan setting and hang my curls over the diffuser. I repeat this on the next side until my hair is completely dry, which usually takes anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes longer. And there you have it. That's pretty much my entire wash day routine. And realistically, I probably only took about two hours.